the visionary is the only realist. The visionary is the only realist. This is a quote of an Italian movie director, Federico Fellini. Many of you might know him for La Dolce Vita. My name is Salvatore, Salvatore Nigro, and I am the CEO of Junior Achievement Europe. And it is a great pleasure to have you all here for the first webinar on the road to the JA Europe Company of the Year Competition 2020, that this year will be hosted by JA Portugal. And this webinar is in collaboration with the great partners, a great companion, the City Foundation. And let me thank straight away, Amal Gomarsal, Vice President, Community Development and Sustainability, EMEA, Global Public Affairs, our city, for making this movie premiere possible. Yes, the visionary is the only realist. 100 years ago, in 1919, business leaders believed, had a vision to bring the business sector close to the educational sector. And there it was born, the JA company program. It's 100 years old. It's the symbol, it's the flagship of junior achievement. It goes across the world. It is 100 years old, and in during these 100 years old, it went through the Great Depressions, wars, financial crisis, moving countries into market economy. This year has also gone through a pandemic. And why? Very simple, because it builds on resilience. The resilience of the 355,000 young entrepreneurs that this year, aged 15 to 18, have competed and created 30,000 mini companies across 40 European countries. They all had a vision. They all transformed it into reality. And this is, as the movies of Fellini, the premiere. It is a taste of what the JA company program is. And in fact, it has been adapted to different realities. And we will hear the stories of different countries. It has been translated in different languages. It has embraced digital transformations to make sure that also we close the digital gap. Now that is needed more than ever. It also provided and is in parallel with the certification that certifies the skills and the experience of young people, the entrepreneurial skills pass. At its heart, at the really heart, the resilience. So 100 years ago, they had a vision. Now it has been transformed into a reality, a reality that is possible thanks to our students, thanks to, to our business mentors, thanks to our teachers, thanks to our partners. This has been transformed in a real meaningful experience. Without further ado, let me introduce, before watching the movie together, Amal Gomarsal. Amal, as said, is the Vice President, Community Development and Sustainability, EMEA, uh, Global Public Affairs at City. Amal? Hi, can everyone hear me? Yes, here we are. Um... So thank you, Salvatore. Um, my name is Amel Gomesal and I work at City on all things community development in Europe, Middle East and Africa. City has collaborated with Junior Achievement Europe for over 30 years. That is longer than many of you that took part in this year's competition have been alive. Yes, it's really that old. Through the City Foundation, we support Junior Achievement in 37 different countries, mostly working on the company programme across Europe, the Middle East and Africa. We support hundreds of thousands of young people to develop entrepreneurial mindsets, critical employability skills, and help them run their own business. We even have our own award, the City Foundation Client Focus Award, that rewards the company that places the client at the center as we do at City and creates products the market needs. I've been personally involved with Junior Achievement myself since 2017, and since then I've seen some fantastic products. Some of my favorites have included Beehive Monitoring Systems, Refurbished Furniture, bespoke immersive events and homemade bath bombs. 
The creativity of today's youth knows no bounds at the Junior Achievement Company Programme. But I think what impresses me most about the company programme is the thought and the consideration that goes behind making the product and the company operations. Increasingly, we see a real passion for social and environmental focused companies from young people that is driven by a real desire to leave a positive impact on the environment and their communities. This fills me and many of my peers here today with a sense of excitement about what young people can achieve both now and in the future. But we face many challenges today as a planet, from racial inequality, environment, environmental degradation to poverty. But with entrepreneurship, we can generate new ideas to improve the lives of many in our countries and beyond. This morning, we'll be showing you a new short film from Junior Achievement and City Foundation. But I'm not gonna to say too much about it because, you know, spoilers. However, I do hope you all enjoy it. And the video goes on to inspire many more thousands of young people across Europe to sign up to the Junior Achievement Company Programme. Thank you, and back to Salvatore. Yes, sorry. Uh, I, I thank you, Amal. And we're very, very thrilled. Thrilled now to hear, to watch this uh, movie premiere. Uh, so maybe we can just push the play button and enjoy um, for the first time the JA company program video. I'd say everything started a Friday afternoon. We had no idea what we were gonna do. So I think it was, the first class was really the excitement of what will we be able to create. We started um, brainstorming different ideas and um, the teacher explained the process, the plan, what we were going to do. So we decided we had to think, what can we sell that children can use and can play with? Because many children cannot have pets in Paris because the apartments are very small. And eventually one student presented the process of selling carnivorous plants. And then from there, we finally were like, okay, this uh, looks like a good idea. It looks like we're gonna be able to sell it in the outside of our school. Di quanto effettivamente sono scomodo e lineto. No, no, sono messo a pensare pure anche gli autoscritti. Esatto. Il progetto che abbiamo scelto è quello di produrre una felpa molto particolare che al suo interno abbia un piccolo cuscino. Lo appoggiamo dietro la nuca, dietro la testa, siamo sempre comodi. Ma Magari si può fare gonfiabile? Gonfiabile. Nel senso sì, che uno lo sì. può gonfiare o sgonfiare sì, quando sì, vuole, sì. non che rimanga. We started with the really complicated ideas, but then we had this idea of this website where we could help other teenagers like us to understand the importance of the job shadowing. And we then contact even some agencies or some companies that would like to have teenagers that do job shadowing in their agency. Ça jamais été fait. Ça, ça a déjà été fait. Et les autres, ça, moi, ça me paraît compliqué. Alors, au début, il n'y avait pas vraiment d'enthousiasme euh, parce qu'on était un peu perdu. Euh, on ne savait pas vraiment euh, ben, ce qu'on voulait faire euh, dans le cadre de cette mini-entreprise. Et le service qui restait, euh, c'était l'idée depuis le début. Dépôt-vente euh, de vêtements. De Dépôt-vente de vêtements. Mais le problème, c'est qu'on n'avance pas là-dessus. Il faut que vous vous exprimiez, tous. Allez, on met des, des noms, des, des idées. Vêtements, en anglais, en français, le côté euh, dépôt-vente. Recyclage, éco. Euh... Alors, qui vote pour Recyclosis Et Dressing Eco Ok, donc Dressing Eco, ça va à tout le monde Alors, nous avons la mini-entreprise Dressing Eco qui fait un dépôt-vente de vêtements. Depuis la dernière fois, on a rempli le statut juridique de la mini-entreprise. Euh, on a également fait euh, les contrats de tous les salariés. Ensuite, on a eu l'étape euh, du recrutement des services. Du coup, on a passé des entretiens individuels euh, pour définir nos postes, euh, les responsables, etc. Qui veut faire partie de la direction générale Qui veut faire partie du service commercial Qui veut faire partie du service RH administratif 
tu veux postuler, si je lis bien, en ressources humaines Oui, c'est ça. D'accord. Selon toi, quelles euh, quelle compétences tu vas pouvoir mettre à profit euh, pour, euh, pour tenir ce poste euh, Relation client, euh, j'aimais bien, vu que c'était dans ma personnalité, j'aimais beaucoup euh, échanger avec les clients, euh, parler avec eux. Moi, je serais... Enfin, dès que je veux quelque, quelque chose ou dès qu'il y a quelque chose qui me plaît, vraiment, bah, du coup, euh, mm -hmm. j'abandonne pas, je, je suis motivée jusqu'au bout. Très bien. Mmh. Oui, ça sent énormément. Merci beaucoup. Merci. de vêtements euh, à vendre et euh, de chiffre d'affaires final. Alors, quand vous allez voir un banquier pour vous financer, si vous n'avez pas ce chiffre-là, vous n'allez pas être financé. Quoi, potete iniziare a lavorare su tutti i documenti che dovete produrre per poi andare alla competizione nazionale. La value proposition della vostra idea, c'è tutta la strategia di marketing, ci sono tutte le strategie di vendita, le... chi si occupa di finanza dovrà occuparsi di scrivere il business plan e cominciare a fare un ragionamento sui costi e su quali saranno le vostre principali fonti di ricavo. Poi voi vi pagate, non vi pagate? Non vi retribuite, ok? Quindi avete deciso che nella vostra struttura costi non avete dei costi del personale. Perché? Per il primo anno. Per il... Be a mentor for, for the students means to try to help them to have a different perspective, to try to understand there are different ways to explore new idea. It's a role of advisor. You don't have to tell them what they have to do. You just need to advise and help them to understand how to move forward. Questa è home page. Raccontiamo le vostre storie, poi non so, raccontiamo le storie dei professori, poi ci sarà l'angolo delle aziende e prevede anche di inserire dei possibili spazi pubblicitari. First, of course, we didn't have any money, so every member of the party had to basically give between 20 and 30 euros. But just to start up the company, make sure that we had a good start, that we could actually carry out a first uh, sale successfully. Well, when we finally got the final product, it was kind of a rush because it was one day before the actual launch. So the sale was on Friday and we had all the materials gathered up on Thursday because we had to go get the plants uh, one hour and a half away from Paris. We had to order the boxes from Amazon. We had to crush the mealworms. And it was a lot of last minute work. And I think when we finally saw the final um, product, that was the most like uh, gaping moments. We sold all 100 plants in the school within one hour, so that was great. And the steps to actually do that was, of course, put flyers all around the school, sent emails to many different students. We also made business cards, and recently we posted um, a website. Donc, euh, merci d'être venu à cette première assemblée générale de Pet Plant, qu'on va fièrement vous présenter aujourd'hui. On va vous parler de l'entreprise, on va vous parler de ce qu'on a fait, et on va vous parler de ce qu'on va faire en détail. Il y a un mois, tous nos actionnaires de l'entreprise se réunissaient et euh, on leur présentait notre produit et notre avancée. Et on a eu des retours euh, très positifs. Et euh, les parents, en fait, ils étaient impressionnés de voir qu'en euh, seconde, on, avait, on a tous entre 15 et 16 ans, on a réussi quand même euh, à créer une mini-entreprise et du coup, ils ont trouvé ça génial. The city has been supporting the JA company program since the beginning and we do it because we believe that it's really important for young people to be able to go through life entrepreneurship uh, training and programs in order to reach their full potential uh, to become employed in the future or to become entrepreneurs themselves. And what we're doing today is we're welcoming 12 young people with their program, with their enterprise, with their business plan and I will have some of my colleagues who are from the banking side uh, look at those business plans, go through their marketing plans, challenge them and hopefully get them ready and prepared for the upcoming finals. Savez-vous combien de vêtements sont fabriqués par jour? Voici la réponse. J'adore ça. Pour commencer avec une question. Savez-vous combien de vêtements sont fabriqués par jour? Hop, next slide. Je vais vous le dire. Quand vous pensez que c'est trop, c'est bon. 
a tout simplement créé un dépôt vente de vêtements. Donc en fait, euh, les personnes de notre lycée vont venir euh, déposer leurs vêtements qu'ils ne portent plus. On a une fourchette de prix, par exemple, pour euh, tout ce qui sera haut, ce sera maximum 5 euros. Et ensuite, tout ce qui sera euh, pour les pantalons et les bas, ce sera euh, maximum 10 euros. Domani avremo la compétition. Ce que je personnellement voglio et j'espère dai mes compagni, non è soltanto la vittoria, mais riuscire à dimostrare que nous sommes ici, siamo arrivati qui facendo fatica. Non è... Nulla ci è stato dato, nulla ci è stato regalato e ci meritiamo tutto quello che adesso abbiamo. sur le stand pour nous poser plein de questions sur ce qu'on a fait, ce qu'on va faire et on participe donc à une compétition pour savoir quelle sera la meilleure entreprise. On a un prix à la fin et on a eu un grand oral aussi, une soutenance à l'oral à faire pendant une dizaine de minutes pour donner plus de détails sur notre entreprise. Donc la mini-entreprise, c'est... Bête Plan, école Jadou. We won the, the Ile de France contest. This meant we were going to go to the national championship and also to what they call the online challenge, which would be to choose which French team would go to the European championship. It was on the computer, Skyping the other teams. We were seeing the judges. And so finally, it was our turn. And I think we love that moment where uh, the light shone on us. Once we finished the pitch and the questions, we were extremely confident. We really thought that we had a chance to, to go to the finals. But uh, when they lifted up uh, the report, we didn't see our company. It's the other one. It's the other one. It's the other one. Ah, no, it's not the other one. Oh, no, it's the other one. And I think that's when the frustration like, kicked in because We thought of all the time we spent on it. That week, we had spent at least one hour each night rehearsing our pitch, making sure that everything was okay. I thought I, thought I would cry. It was the worst thing in my life. I mean, yeah, it, it was such a deception. So although it was extremely enriching, we really worked as a team. I learned a lot doing this experience. It was also an extremely frustrating one, which I guess immersed us in the reality of the world, which Although we're extremely prepared, we don't always get um, the position or the place that we think we deserve or think we're going to get. We would have been really happy of winning the European prize, but then we don't have it. It, it doesn't matter that much. We're going to continue with our company and we're going to, to have it work, to sell our kits. And uh, even if it's going to close at the end of the year, it will have been a, a wonderful experience for everyone. Con il resto della classe abbiamo deciso di fare questo questionario ESP che ci darà un attestato che verificherà le nostre competenze nell'ambito imprenditoriale. È un progetto che si sviluppa eh, contemporaneamente col progetto JA, ti permette di seguire alcuni corsi e migliorare le proprie skills imprenditoriali. So the ESP is important because it's a certification that can be added in the CV and then can be also used for the student when they would like to enter in the, in the workplace because it's a skills that it's requested by the employers. Devo ammettere che lavorare in un ambiente così particolare ti permette davvero di mostrarti, di, di metterti in gioco e di non avere paura. 
Non è stato sempre facilissimo. Molte volte ci sono stati problemi di incomprensione tra due compagni, tra due parti, magari quando bisognava prendere una decisione importante. On a appris beaucoup de cette, de cette mini-entreprise. On a eu des points négatifs, des points positifs. Et euh, grâce à tout cela, en fait, on a réussi à, à devenir plus mature, en fait. Lavorare con i miei compagni ha, ha portato a una nuova visione sia di me stesso che di loro. E devo ammettere che di alcuni miei compagni che magari in, non pensavo fossero così importanti, così intelligenti e così bravi, invece mi sono dovuto ricredere proprio perché hanno dimostrato in alcune occasioni di avere un, una marcia in più quasi. The most thrilling part of the, of the program and the, the job of the, uh, the advisory when they come to the end of the project, when they prepare themselves for the pitch and for the presentation, because you see that the, the passion rise, they become more and more engaged, and they, so, sometimes they think, so, why I don't put more commitment on this from the beginning? If you look at the students that go through the program throughout the year, you really see them change, you see them bloom. Some of them you really see open up to entrepreneurship and it's a joy, it's a real pleasure to see them, to see them grow and really be more open and willing and able to take charge of their lives and their careers uh, going forward. definitely speechless. This is probably the best explanation of the company program I have never seen. And I'm sure you will agree with me. And it is because those one who participated also in this movie really did put the passion. They could, they were able to transmit, get out their feelings, their engagement, the inspiration that they receive from the young people that have gone through the programs. It is indeed a, a, a meaningful experience for the students. It is a meaningful experience for the volunteers. And this is why we have here with us the actors uh, and the actresses of this that actually probably was easy because it was really the reality of, uh, of the experience. So let me welcome uh, Lars Seinert. Lars is Director of Public Affairs, Belgium, France, Luxembourg, Netherlands at City. Silvia Boschetti. Silvia is Head of Communication and CSR, Public Affairs Officer at City in Italy. And, but also we have with us the JI, um, our colleagues of Junior Achievement from France, the CEO of Entreprendre pour Apprendre, uh, JI France, Adeline Mongreux. Uh, Livia Di Nardo, which is Development Director of JA Italy, with really those one who are the engine uh, of all of that. The, our students, the youth, went through this experience, Maxwell, Olivia, Elva, and Alexandro. So welcome and thank you to all of you for being here. Well, let me start with, with Lars. You've been business volunteer on the boards of Junior Achievement, how did you become, how did this, this journey start, Lars, um, together with, with Junior Achievement? Good morning, all. Um, uh, to be honest, it's because Amal told me I had to. Um, <laughs> no, um, no, seriously. Um, I've, I've, I've got to know Junior Achievement 20 years ago when I started with City. Um, I got to know them in, in Belgium with Jong on the Neiman. Um, and I was just invited to one of uh, to one to to one to a presentation to attend as a, as a jury member. Um, I wasn't really I didn't really know exactly what I was getting myself into, but I thought like you know this sounds like fun, you know, nice afternoon away from the office. Um, and I must say it it, it changed um, my view on on many things. Um, I was I, I came out of that session that afternoon so. Um, excited, uh, motivated, um, amazed, really, uh, that I said, like, this is it. This is probably going to be the best part of my job going forward within City. Um, I want to work with JA. I want to work with these young young people. 
Um, I just want to be part of this. It, it just gave me so much energy um, and it still does today. Um, and I guess that's why I've never given up and I continue like, being on juries, mentoring these kids, uh, being a coach, just being there whenever they need me to. And I hope I'll be able to do that for a very long time uh, to go. This is really a privilege for us to have you with, with us for so many years and with so much commitment. And Sylvia, how did this experience stay started for you? How do you still remember this, this real beginning? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I still remember. So, hi everyone. So, as for us, as a public affair for Italy, I manage the community development program for with the local partner. And during the year, I had the chance to work on a lot of different projects with JA. And when we decided to become partner of the company program in 2015, I thought that the best way to live and understand the program was to become a business volunteer. And then uh, I also, I love to spend uh, uh, time with young people. They give you a lot of fresh idea. They give you a lot of energy. And uh, I believe that uh, this product could really make the difference for the career path. This is why I'm so engaged. I started in 2015. This is my fifth year. And I, I hope I will continue for a long time. Oh. Well, that's, that's, uh, it's a kind of a similar start, but really is motivated by your why more than probably on what you do with, with young people. Uh, there is a, a real why uh, behind it. But what are the changes that you have seen in the students, Silvia? So what, what change, changes you have seen in the students that have gone through the company program? Yeah, so the, the company program helps students to work in a completely different way. So at school, every student is considered as a, as we say at City, as an individual contributor. They don't, don't have the chance to work as a team. And thanks to the company program, they learn how, how to collaborate, how to play in a team. They become more creative. They develop important skills, such as managing conflict and the public speaking. And at the end of the program, they are more conscious about their potential and their skills, and they have a clearer view and ideas on how to manage their future choices. It's a very important experience for them. And Lars, what, what you are, in your opinion, is that the changes that you have personally seen in the students that you have mentored across these years, few, few of the changes? Yeah, I, I think for, for many students, it's a great opportunity to, to get to know themselves a little bit better and also to have, get a better understanding of who they are, how they work and, and where they want to go. Um, if, I, if I remember now seeing many of the companies, you meet them like the first time you know, when, when they start their company and everybody's looking around and doesn't like, okay, um, how are we going to do this? Who's going to take the lead? Who's, who's going to do this? Who's going to do that? You know, you have people sit back, hold back. And then you see them at the end, like X number of weeks, months later. And you see them as a team coming together and like, you know, we're going to do this and this is what we've done and this is what we've done. And you, you, you see them grow immensely over a very short period of time and, and come out with a real clear vision, uh, a view on what they want to do, how they're going to do it. Um, I, I say, you know, I think they've grown in, let's say in a few months time, they grow what a regular student would grow in, in a few years times maybe. And I think that's just one of the amazing things that this program offers to, to, to the students. And the business volunteer, the mentor, has a key role in this experience. And you're really the testimony of, of all of that. How do you think, what would you say, mainly, what would you say to other, um, of some of your colleagues to invite him or her to join this program? Both, Lars, you want to go first and then, and then Silvia? Um, yeah, sure. I mean, uh, what I would say to, to, to my colleagues is, you know, if, if you have a bad habit and you want to get out of an addiction, uh, you know, this is a perfectly good alternative for it. Um, because, you know, once you get in this program, I mean, it's going to, it's going to like put you in, in some sort of a bubble. It's going to engage you. Um, you'll never be out, able to get out of it, but it's going to give you so much energy, uh, so much fun, so much uh, enjoyment in life, just, you know, working with these students and, and helping them grow. That it's something that when you sign up for it, and I've seen it with many of, of my colleagues, once they're on board, they never jump off ship again. You know, you, you have ambassadors for life. Um, and I really hope I can, I can get many more on board like that. Celia. 
so it's more or less the same with the, of last, but uh, I would say just try. So it's challenging because it's challenging. The first time that you enter in the classroom and you are uh, in front of you 20 students of around 70 years old, it's not easy, but it's really enjoyable and you receive back a lot of positive energy and uh, a lot of goals, personal goals for, for yourself. So just try and do it. You will never stop. Both of you have just been promoted as definitely the ambassadors of Junior <laughs> Achievement and the company program. I'll make sure you receive the badges out there with the way you pitch it. Uh, it's, uh, it's simply great. So uh, on this side, on JA Europe, in the JA in Europe, uh, as I said, we, we work in 40 countries. Two of the countries that you have seen um, in, this, in this movie are here today. And we have the CEO, uh, Adeline Mongre of Entreprendre pour Apprendre in France. Adeline, could you tell us about how the company program has evolved in your school system? Uh, how is it in, in France? Um, it is more and more accepted, uh, developed and promoted. Uh, we are, um, last year we had 30,000 young people uh, involved in the, in the company program and we are, um, we are trying every day to, to convince uh, schools, public actors, mentors, partners uh, to, to help us to propose to each and every young people because we are doing it in uh, different type of classes and even with uh, young people who have uh, um, learning difficulties. We have also a company program in prisons. So we are really convinced and it's a day-to-day -day mission to, uh, to keep on uh, develop, developing and implementing the company program. And uh, we, do, we do hope that one day each and every uh, French young people will be able to, to, to do this company program in a, in a, in a scholarship. Same things from France to Italy. Uh, we started also with Federico Fellini uh, today, the, the movie director of Italy. So we go back to Italy again. Um, uh, uh, Livia, Livia Di Nardo. Uh, it's our flagship program also there. It's more than 100 years. However, it seems that today is more relevant than ever on this new way of learning that you know, the, the company program provides based on uh, active methodology, based on community engagement, the new pedagogy also that we have been including. So uh, what JEA and the company program actually are, are doing to transform also the educational systems in your countries and contributing to it? So thanks, Salvatore. Thanks. Hi. Hello, everyone. So for, for us, uh, the company program means quality, means um, quality education and quality entrepreneurship education. And we've been also thanks to, to City and the support of, uh, of our partners, we've been trying to really advo advocate for uh, this kind of program, such as entrepreneurship education. And in Italy, the quality of the company program and also the quality of the outputs for students, but also for teachers and for volunteers has also has given us a chance to really push for entrepreneurship education to be part of the curriculum. And thanks to that, um, entrepreneurship education is now part of, um, we have schoolwork exchange activities that are compulsory in the last three years of high school. And the mini company is recognized as one of the best ways to do and methodology to do uh, entrepreneurship education. And as you just mentioned before, you know, uh, in this time where we live, uh, um, this kind of program, and especially the teachers who sign up for this program and really believe in this program, because it's true that the students are are the final beneficiaries and we see a huge change in them, but we see a huge change in the way teachers teach when they, when they start um, teaching the company program or as we say, coordinating the company program because they don't have to teach, but it's the students who do it. And there um, we have seen in this time, um, in this very, very uh, difficult time that teachers from the company program showed us such a, resi a resilience uh, in continuing and wanting their student to continue because these, although students were locked in their home, gave them a sense of purpose, gave them a sense of working in a different way, and also gave them the chance to be in contact with the outside world, which is one of the main outcome of uh, the company program. 
And this has proven to be, again, a very effective methodology. So that's very why we really believe in it. We're talking about methodology and we're talking about difficult times in France. Same things, um, Adeline, how really would you like some, to add something about the, the, the learning methodology in France that you have taken and also how it has been important for students in this after the COVID-19 outbreak, those challenges that have everybody has gone through in the past few months. Yes, I completely agree with Livia. Uh, you can really see the impact of the company program, especially in this, uh, in this uh, crisis. So we, we had the, a chance because we digitalized the company program uh, in uh, September 2019. So we had a digital tool. Uh, so that they can, uh, all the, every mentors, every teachers, every, uh, every youth, everybody could uh, keep a permanent access to the project and they could see uh, what has been done, what has to be done. And so it was really a, a chance and it was thanks to partners. Uh, we really do need partners who help us to develop the tools and to, to make them more modern and uh, accessible. So it was really great because when everybody was uh, isolated and uh, there was this uh, anxiety about the future, uh, thanks to the company program, they, they keep on working together as a team. So they were not isolated and they still have a common goal when the, nobody knew what was the, the next 48 hours, uh, there was still the project and we had a, such a wonderful help from the mentors and the teachers. Uh, and so we, we still have uh, uh, hundreds of, of uh, company program running and, uh, and went to digital competitions. So it was really a chance to, for them to, to be in teams when everybody was a little bit alone. So it was amazing. Uh you, you, you touched on partners, and I will um, soon go back to both Lars and Sylvia. But before that, L Livia, uh, we saw in the movie the entrepreneurial skills pass, right? I mean, this is going on for quite a while now, uh, and it's an international qualification that really certifies that the skills and the experience. What's mm -hmm. your you've been implementing that, what's your opinion? How do you see how important it is also, Olivia, to show that there is certification behind it? Mm -hmm. So um, when the entrepreneurship uh, skills pass came into, into life and we got the chance to have it in Italy, we uh, really celebrated because um, we uh, did not have at that time uh, anything to prove, not only for the company program, but in general, uh, for assessing uh, transversal competencies such as entrepreneurship. So um, I think for us, again, this really helped us uh, supporting the quality of the company program and helped us also uh, getting in touch with companies, with a lot of, of uh, people from the employer's world because we could prove uh, that uh, entrepreneurship is a skill, is a very complex skill, is, is a set of competencies, and it's something that um, it's proven on paper and that students uh, could really recognize the fact and have acknowledged the fact that they have done um, a good job in the company program and they have learned a lot. And what we really like of the entrepreneurial skills pass is the fact that there's one part that's for students to um, acknowledge and uh, self-assess their transversal competencies. So they really become aware of the fact that this is very complex and they have to work on a lot of different things. And first of all, a lot of a set of competencies that they might have and they can improve thanks to the company program, but they also become conscious of those and they become conscious of the fact that they need to work on a lot of different things to get into the world, not only wow. to the, in the world of work, but to get in the, into the work. And then there is the exam where they can prove the knowledge. And that's something a little bit more similar to what they already do, but it gives them a, a real sense of the fact that they learn a lot of concepts and of difficult um, subjects related to financial literacy and to entrepreneurship. So for us, it was really a blessing when, when ESP came to life because it was really 
the cherry on the cake that we could put on the oh, company. We're so program. glad of that. We're so glad because, you know, it started in Europe and now it's really going global. It's going in so many countries that are really adopting the entrepreneurial skills path. So we talk about partners and this is all about partnerships at the end of the day. But if we wide a little bit the scope also, um, Lars and Sylvia, in your perspective really of the private sector to be engaged and involved in uh, the education system first, but also in this case in the company program. So what's in for the private sector? Why the, the, the private sector should or should not be closer to the educational sector? Lars, I will start. Yeah, sure, go ahead. <laughs> okay. So uh, in my view, there are uh, two reasons. One, it's more related to, in general, what we call uh, social responsibility. That it means that uh, corporate sectors has to be responsible of the development of the world. So should put its commitment on that. And the second one is that uh, the private sector has a direct return on that because uh, you have people that are more prepared, more skilled, and they are ready to enter in, in, in the workplace in a completely different way in respect of what is happening today. Lars? Yeah, sure. Um, uh, why, why should we? Uh, why do we? I mean, I think it, it makes so much sense. Um, it's, I think, it's easier for us to, to, to spot, to identify what's, what, what students are working on and how they're behaving and to, to help them develop, to get them ready for, for work. And, you know, when we get them on board, it just makes our work a lot easier, it just goes a lot quicker, everything. Um, I think um, also as a business, it's nice to, to be able to, to have people or to find people who come in who, who have an idea of what it's like to, to be in a, in a business environment. Um, and, and if it's not for us, it's going to be at another company. Uh, but I think it, it just makes it so much easier to employ people a lot faster, to get them on board faster, to integrate them faster. Um, and uh, so sort of like to, to, to jumpstart that, that, say that, that learning curve that usually people go through when, when they enter a company. Um, you know, I think these days we don't have the, the means and the time anymore to spend a lot of time on, on, on training people, you know, you, you want them to, to be, to come in and just, you know, pick up a pen or a laptop or, or an iPad or whatever it is these days and, you know, get them operational and functional 100%. And programs like the company program and what JA is doing is, is just preparing them for that and making sure that when they come on board with us, we're like, yes, this is it. This is what you're going to do. Go run with it. And, and I love that. Intervention I love people like that on board intervention early on so thank you thank you so much to both of you for giving us this perspective really and thank you so much again to amal a great supporter during those those years uh in the partnership so uh, let's hear from them let's hear from uh, our youth you saw them on the on the movie so we have with us Maxens, alessandro olivia and elva i believe they're all here and connected uh, probably we'll see uh, with Maxwell, would you say that the company program had an impact, a meaningful impact in your life? And more importantly, did this help you in the future choices of your education or your professional career? Well, I used to be a very, a very introvert person myself. And then I don't know how I got chosen to be the CEO of the company I, I led throughout the year. So uh, I, I don't know how, but this is what happened. And it taught me the importance of, of the team, of teamwork. I could never have done alone what uh, my, my, my team of 25 people has done over the course of one year. Then the second thing I discovered is, is that I was addicted in a way to entrepreneurship. And even, even today, the first thing I did when the, the lockdown was announced in, uh, in France is that I, I looked at all the opportunities I had to create my own company. This is what I did. I uh, created a company called Beyond Business Review, and now we have a, a team of 50 people, and it was created uh, only only three months ago. But as for the the, the more important aspect, as you said, for the, um, the, the, the the educational choices I will make, the professional choices, the surprising effect of me absolutely wanting to create my own company to, to become uh, an entrepreneur myself, this has pushed me 
further away from from studying entrepreneurship in a way in at the university. I think I want to study more, for example, computer science or engineering or uh, physics because I learned that entrepreneurship is mostly something that either you have or you don't have. Of course, there are there are sets of skills that you can learn, but if you are an entrepreneur and you love doing this, you do not need to learn anything at school. I mean, regarding entrepreneurship, of course, you, you still have to go to school, that's not what I meant, but you need to learn and to be excellent in the specific field. So the, the science has just mentioned, and then apply this and combine this with the entrepreneurship skills that you, you might have that may be in it and that may be uh, important to you. So yeah, this is the, the tremendous impact the program has had on my life. So the entrepreneurship is not only for the entrepreneurs in reality. That's that's to summarize. So it's it's really open up. It helps on different aspects. And then we have Alessandro. Alessandro, do, do you think also same things impacting your life? But also, how this has supported you during the COVID? Was it useful? Something changed before and after the COVID for you? Uh, yes, uh, we immediately had a clear indication on how to manage the company program at uh, distance. Uh, after the registration of uh, my team at uh, my JR platform, uh, we, I, have, uh, I had the opportunity to access to a business kit that um, uh, was very useful during the lockdown in Italy. And uh, during the pandemic, uh, the interactive uh, roadmap was uh, particularly useful because um, it, uh, it um, allowing us to uh, simplify and program the work uh, at home. Um, uh, yes, the company program uh, has impact on uh, my life uh, because thanks to this path, my knowledge and, um, and my vision um, are... Uh, uh, much wider and uh, this helped to strengthen my awareness and uh, which I will uh, my choices uh, for my training and my workplace. Thank you, Alessandro. And, you know, like it wasn't easy also to transform all the programs, many of our programs during the pandemic in order to serve more and more uh, youth. And a big applause goes definitely to all our junior achievement teams across Europe and, and in the, across the globe who have been really working hard to make sure that there was not so much educational disruption uh, during, the, during the pandemic. Olivia, what's your best memory of, of learning that you always carry with you? Mm, well, first of all, my, if I can say my fondest memory uh, are the three days I spent at the GA National Competition at Lille with four other members of Pet Plant, our mini startup. Mm -hmm. Getting there wasn't simple and it almost didn't happen, but fortunately we made it because we actually won uh, an award for best customer relations. It was thrilling and the best way of ending and capping our incredible year long experience with the company program. And it was proof that all of our hard work really paid off because my new launching Pet Plant really entailed lots of work, including learning to work productively as a team. And I think that was one of the biggest challenges. And if I had to choose one thing that I learned from this experience that I will carry with me is the importance of being flexible and adaptable. These are the qualities that I truly developed as we encountered challenges along the way and really helped me um, problem solve with my team members. Well, team building has been important and especially we heard it from uh from many of you, especially how to reorganize during this difficult period. Um, do we have Helva with us as well? Yes. Oh, there you are. Okay. So, uh, Elva, how would you convince other students to participate in the company program using the impact that it had on you on your personal learning? How would you convince some others to say, well, that's something that really, well, it's worth my... having a look at it. Uh, in my opinion, the project itself is really attractive. So I think that it's not enough to tell the other student our real experience. For example, what did we do and uh, what was our programs, uh, what was our product and what did we do for testing this product? And yes, the reality. I think it's enough. 
the reality. I love that because you just use the same words that Fellini used it. And I started this, uh, this, uh, this webinar to say the only visionary, the only visionary is really the realist. Um, we're about going to the ends of this great uh, premiere. Let me thank all the staff of Junior Achievement in Europe and Junior Achievement in Portugal that uh, will host the 31st edition of the company of the year, uh, the European final, that will be at the end of the month, uh, in which, as we said, 355,000 entrepreneurs like you have uh, competed. And now we have 40 finalists for the best entrepreneurial idea, the best mini companies that will be selected. I started with a quote. I have to finish with a quote about it. And uh, I go back to our friend, since we are in a movie theater here, at least virtually, uh, uh, Fellini. It says, there is never, there is no beginning and there is no end. There is only passion for life. And this is really what you all, youth, mentors, volunteers, teachers and staff of JA have put passion for life and passion for the JA company program. So without further ado, let me virtually move to Portugal and uh, Frederico Fetzas, the CEO of JA Portugal for some closing remark. Thank you so much from my, from my side to all of you for participating in this great premiere. Fred. Hey, thank you, Salvatore. You're a natural. You should be a TV presenter. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. I have some words for you in, this, in the end of this webinar. This was an exciting and emotional startup moment for this beautiful road to COYC, which is going to take place, as you know, between the 22nd and 24th of July. Thank you, CD Foundation, for this moment. A big part of the transformation power of JA programs comes from the, the certainty that these young people get that they can overcome any challenge, remove any rock of their way uh, when they go through all the process from ideas to solid projects until the end. This idea of possibility, of hope, this empowerment is what JA knows for sure to make a difference in their lives and careers. Maxence, Olivia, Alessandro and Elva are the living proofs of this. Thank you for inspiring us. We have the opportunity during this webinar to be inspired and change some opinions about the history of JA and of this program in particular around Europe and around the world. And talking about the story of JA is also talking about the story of City Foundation as a big supporter. Uh, it has been since early ages. In Portugal, for instance, uh, City was a founding member of JA Portugal 15 years ago and still is one of our main and more present partners. City is a part of JA Portugal's board and the president, president of the board now, Luis Aguiar, worked in City Portugal for 25 years. So City is very much present in Portugal as well. Uh, I think we uh, couldn't have started this journey in a better way. And I am expecting to see you all very soon in this CO, COYC this year hosted by Jay Portugal. It's really, really a shame that I can't welcome you in sunny Portugal this year. Cascais was waiting for you and for your enthusiasm and joy. But we want to tell you that the door will always be open for you, not only in Cascais, but in Portugal, Portugal as a whole. Please, please promise me that you won't skip Portugal. And before I end, I just want to reinforce uh, one idea and send a message to our young people and all across Europe and the world. You make the world change. This is our motto for this year, COYC, and we strongly believe in it, that each one of you can be the change you want to see in the world. We all have the opportunity to witness the amazing achievements of your mini companies and how focused disruptive and inspiring you can be. JA will do everything possible to help you get there. This pandemia will be over and together we will certainly build a better world after this whole situation goes away. Count on JA Portugal, JA Europe, 
and of course, City Foundation to be your journey companions. Thank you all. Have a very, very nice day. Thank you, Fred. Thank you, everyone.